Hey guys, T Mac signing in, and today I'm going to be building you guys a BPL sweat squad. Now, there's a lot of new players in the BPL, a lot of new transferred players, and because of that, I'm now allowed to make an insanely sweaty team. Once the team is completed, I want your feedback, guys. So, down in the comment section below, tell me which players you would have replaced with which players, and you know what players you like using in the BPL as well, as I really like to know. And don't forget to drop a like if you do go on to enjoy this video. Now, for this, I've decided to start off with the 4 3 3 4 variant formation I've chosen because we have a left wing and right wing and that's gonna work perfectly with this team getting straight into this as my goalkeeper I've gone with Begovic this Chelsea goalkeeper he was insane in FIFA 15 so I'm pretty sure he's gonna be the same in FIFA 16 and there's no way you can build a BPL sweat team without this guy as my two center backs I've gone for Richards and Okore Firstly, mainly because they have a strong link as they both play for the same team. And secondly, because Richards is 79 rated and Okori is only 77 rated. So when the game is fully out, these players will be probably cheap to get. As well as this, Richards is 76 pace, 78 defending and 85 physical, which is OP in itself for a centre back and Okore has that 81 pace, 83 physical and 76 defending all my freaking days. For my right back I've gone with Kyle Walker mainly because this guy has been reliable for the past few FIFAs. When you're building a BPL sweat he's the right back you need to have. He has that 90 pace, 80 physical and 77 defending. He has other decent stats as well but like I said when you're building a BPL sweat he's the right back you need to have. And on the other side, we have the new Chelsea transfer, and that is Barber. He's got 86 pace, 76 dribbling, 75 defending, and 74 physical. Pretty decent stats for only 78 rated players. He's probably going to be a cheap one to get as well. So if you're building your BPL sweat squads, he's the left back you're going to need to go for. Moving on to my two centre midfielders, we have Kuyate and we have Tiote. These are two defensive minded players. As you can see there, Kuyate has 76 pace, 87 physical, which is insane, and 77 defending. Once again, only 75 rated, so he should be pretty cheap to get as well. He was upgraded from a silver from FIFA 15, so it's good to see him as a god. And like I said, he should be cheap to get. And over on the other side, there's Tiote. He's been a beast for the past couple of FIFAs. He's dealt with his 88 physical, 70 79 defending and 72 pace which isn't too bad and these are the two you're gonna have as your center midfielders if you're looking to get yourself a beast BPL sweat team. Payet the French maestro is my calm as you can see he's got 77 pace, 81 dribbling, 82 passing and 76 shot. He has well rounded stats for a center attacking midfielder. This guy is a beast in real life is amazing and I'm pretty sure he's gonna be OP in FIFA 16 as well. On the wings we have Sterling and Walcott. Before I get into this, I just want to say I would have put Ibarbo instead of Walcott there, but on Foothead, they've not updated it yet. They've not put Ibarbo at Watford. I don't know why, but I would have put Ibarbo instead of Walcott there, so bear that in mind. Nevertheless, Walcott is another good player to use in that right wing position. He's got 96 pace, 81 dribbling, 77 shot, and 74 passing, which means he's got some decent crosses. And over on the other side, we have Sterling with his 93 pace, 87 dribbling, 71 shot, and 7 73 passing which means he can also cross balls into the box pretty well as well and up top here we have the reason why I need wingers that can cross the ball and that is Juve he now has 90 pace his pace has been upgraded from 86 to 90 he's a freaking beast he's six foot so his headers will be insane he's got 77 physical which isn't the best but he can still probably power through players 77 shooting 68 dribbling which isn't the best but that 90 pace will allow him to go past so many players and before I finish this I just want to show you guys a couple of changes you could do to this squad to make it even more better and as you can see there I've made two quick changes new center back Bembe 82 pace 79 physical 78 defending he's a new Newcastle transfer this guy looks OP he should be overpowered in the game and a beast to use and up top we've swapped out Drew for Mane these are two changes you can make to the squad if you want to make it even better and like I said earlier on in the right wing position I would have put a barbell there but he's not been put up on foothead as a Watford player yet I don't know why nevertheless this is pretty much the squad it should be pretty cheap it shouldn't be really expensive at the start because I don't have too many high rated players definitely try it out once the game's out and come back to this video and let me know how it does for you and that's pretty much it for this video so if you did enjoy this make sure to drop a like as that will be very much appreciated also don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here and for today this is T-Mac signing out thanks for watching guys and see ya <laughs>
this is the end of the video hi if you enjoy just comment and subscribe want to see more don't forget to leave a like do it <laughs> this is team signing out